What can you control? Well, the first thing is know the truth. Know the truth. Important to know the truth about yourself. One of the things we've been encouraging you to do is to go on the It's a Good Life website and hopefully you see now we have these eight wonderful categories of personal growth and money and uh, business growth or real estate, whatever you want to hear more about. We've actually categorized our content for you and we give you three or four episodes in each fabulous category. It's sitting there. Uh, you'll see a, an opportunity there to get a business consultation. If you decide you want to control your economy and you want to learn about how to grow your business, get a business assessment, a free business analysis, and one of our expert staff will meet with you and say, hey, here's where your business is and here's where it can go. Fantastic. The also thing we have on there is called a real strengths assessment. And the first thing to know the truth about is the truth about yourself. So we've developed this thing over the past couple of years. We've used it in our coaching for 27 years. And that is, where does a person's real strengths lie in the area of communication, selling, serving? And you can take that now for free. And I'm just delighted to provide that for you. You go on there, there's a bunch of cool questions. You'll enjoy the process pretty quick. And you'll get this cool assessment uh, that'll tell you the truth about you that you can lean into. So when you're trying to control yourself, like here, here's where my strengths are. And conversely, here's where my weaknesses are. Know the truth. Epictetus said, happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within your control and some things are not. The number one thing I wanna control is me. I wanna control my emotions. I wanna control my reactions. I wanna control my routines. I wanna control my day. I wanna control my attitude. I wanna control my effort. Um, and so I, I wanna control my outlook. I'm gonna diminish this and listen to this. I'm gonna not read this, I'm gonna start reading that. I'm gonna not spend as much time around these people, I'm gonna start spending more time around these people. Why? Because these people tear down and these people build up, okay? Henry David Thoreau said, think for yourself or others will think for you without thinking of you. Oof, powerful. And again, one of my favorite ancient proverbs says, if the words don't add up, it's usually because the truth wasn't included in the equation. So know the truth about yourself, know the truth about the market, know the truth about the circumstances, do your homework, control your own self if you wanna control your economy. Second thing you wanna do here is, is create a strategy. You know, what's your plan for controlling your business? For example, um, at Buffini and Company, we have a plan this year for growth. Now, it's not sensational growth because you're growing against an economy that is uh, shrinking, uh, a lot of our clients are in the real estate and mortgage space, and so they're, you know, that's a hard hit, harder hit area than most, although many of our clients are doing very well as they should be because they're controlling their own economy. It's not, oh, no, they were, obviously it was easier when the rates were 3% as opposed to 6.5%, but the fact of the matter is you gotta control your, your, control your outlook, control your attitude, control your effort. People still wanna buy a house. People still wanna move. People still wanna sell a house. It's just a little more work and a little more effort and a little more energy. And by the way, there's a little less competition. Why? Because it's a little harder. So Buffini and Company going into this year, we have a plan for growth. Not exponential growth, but solid growth. We intend to grow. We're gonna outgrow if there's a recession. We're gonna outgrow inflation. We have a plan in place to grow. That's our strategy. And there's specific things we're doing to grow our business. What is your specific strategy? And again, I've given people this tip. Your plan should include outgrowing the rate of inflation. So if the rate, inflation rate today is 6.5%, allowing for a little taxation, you might want to say that means I need to grow at 9 or 10%. I need to grow my business by 9 or 10%. What's your plan? Well, it probably means you may need at least 10%, maybe 15% more leads. Well, in order to generate those leads, you might need 20% more activities. Where do you spend in your time? Where do you spend in your effort? Where do you spend in your dollars? One of the things that happens when a raging hot market then cools is people have money and they think the money can buy the effort. So I'll put the money into this advertising campaign or this marketing campaign. And the truth of the matter is a lot of times you're wasting the money. The fact of the matter is, what are your core fundamentals for generating customers and how can you invest to support that? In my case, I've made a commitment to delight my customers this year at our live events, with our coaching, with our training, and with our podcast. We wanna delight you, our audience. And this is part of that today. I hope you're delighted. When you finish this 
uh, program today and you're thinking, hang on a second here, I can control my own economy. That's a pretty cool thing. You know, I've been taking all this news and there, I got negative people and people give me feedback and how bad things are and how bad the market is. And Oh, I'm actually in control. I can control my own economy. Hopefully that delights you. That's what we're doing. And so create your strategy. Thanks for watching. If you want more tips on how to think, feel, and do better, check out these videos too. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave us a like if you enjoy the content.